Hey Frank, uh, you and Denver on Saturday, they just hung 140 points up last night and um, obviously the reigning MVP. What's the defensive challenge for your group heading into the Nuggets game? Well, you mentioned it. It starts with, uh, with Joker. You know, obviously, um, a lot of different coverages go into uh, you know guarding his uh, you know all all of the action that he's in. You know he's the most unique player in the NBA, and um, you know a lot of our our focus today was you know just to go over those unique coverages. Kyle, Frank, I know uh, maybe I'm shooting in the dark here, but is this a game where you look to? use more big specifically because of the matchup or are you kind of interested in, in sticking to the style that you guys have, have been playing? Yeah, we'll see. You know, I'm not going to release my, my lineups, but, you know, where there's a lot of value in, uh, you know, trying to stretch stretch him out, uh, make him guard on the perimeter as much as possible and um, use the space that we've been using offensively, um, you know, but I'm not going to release what, uh, what lineups that we'll use um, with that. All right, BT. How you doing, Frank? Good, BT. Good. Every time you guys seem to have a practice, you guys seem to get benefits out of it. What's the biggest thing you guys learned from having a live practice on the court on your team? Uh, today, uh, hopefully, we have an improved defensive performance. Our defense has been terrible the last two games. You know that more than anything else uh, is the reason we didn't win the last two games. And um, you know, we had a spirited, uh, spirited session in the film and on the court in terms of uh, being better on that side of the ball. All right, Bill. Hey, Frank, I believe we're at the four-week mark on AD. Uh, is there anything you know about him at this point, and what's, what's in store for him over the next few days? Yeah, he's going to be uh, evaluated early next week, and uh, we'll have an update at that point. Okay, Mike Trudeau. Hey, Frank, just wondering what you've seen from Malik Monk defensively uh, compared to maybe take to Washington Charlotte early this season and where he's at now. Yeah, he's got the speed and athleticism to get the job done. Um, you know, obviously, like, like really our whole team right now, uh, there's some habits that he can be better with, uh, you know, that he has a, a great attitude about. Um, and, you know, he's working towards it. Uh, but he's got, uh, he's got great athleticism and quickness, you know, to, to do everything we need him to do on that side of the ball. And um, you know, that's what we're working with with him. All right, back to Dave. Frank, when you say spirited film touch, I'm just curious if you could offer any more context of what that entails. Yeah, all the, all the breakdowns of the Kings game. You gave up 70 points in the paint. Like, you're not going to win if you do that. So, you know, we called every, every single one of them out and uh, showed all the ways that we can be better. Bill, did you have another follow-up? Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, my, okay. my hand is down. Now. All right, Andy, go ahead. Uh, Frank, uh, in, in terms of the defense and the stuff that's gone wrong over the last couple of games and the stuff that you saw in film, what are the areas that stood out the most, specifically the ones that you think you guys can control best with or without Anthony Davis? Uh, I think just think extra effort and disposition. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. I mean, there's a lot of details that go into our, our coverages. But, you know, five guys being really locked in, playing with great focus and intensity uh, isn't happening enough on as many, uh, on enough possessions. You know, like I said, without getting into all the details of, of, of our coverages, there's just a lot of areas that uh, you know, we were poor at.